Hello, it has been a while. The last time I posted was in June or July, I believe. And I have been really busy. It's been really crazy with how I'm doing all this art stuff. And I just wanted to start making videos again. So hi, my name is Stephanie. I run under the art name or artist name, Rose Milk Tea. And in this next year, I do want to improve and kind of show what I am doing throughout the year. This year is actually going to be a little crazy for me because I'm not just me doing my full-time job and then doing all these events and stuff, but I'm actually getting married in the month of July with my fiance. I'm so excited. I am actually starting to stress already because of all the money we're putting in. So I am going to tone down the, the amount of events I'm doing throughout the year. So I'm just going to pile everything on for the next few months and then I won't be doing any tabling during the month of June, July, maybe August, but I'm not 100% sure. But for sure June and July, I will not be tabling at all. Uh, so yeah, from there, I believe I have a plan set up of how I want to do things. Um, but for now, I have two events coming up in the month of February and I am excited because it's the new events for the year. <laughs> I, during the month of July, I've actually ordered a lot of stuff, so I have totes coming in. Um, what else did I order? I have peekers. I, if you have been following me on my Instagram, that's where I'm most active, rose milk tea. And I did some Yu-Gi-Oh peekers, so those were ordered and they're actually coming in already. I, I got the notification today is, I believe the 17th? Yeah, today is January 17th. I ordered them the Saturday, on Saturday and I just got the notification that they're being sent out so that's exciting. I also am releasing new items such as washies. I am so happy with how they came out. I ordered them through a manufacturer and they actually got to me in two weeks. So with the order and production and shipping, it was like two to three weeks which is actually really nice. I love the quality of it. So I actually have them right in front of me. So I have these, I called it cotton candy clouds, um, but I think the blue came out a little more vibrant than I expected it to. Um, that's fine. I still love how it came out. Um, but this is pretty much the roll. It, come, or it came in um, plastic shrink wrap. And then what I decided to do is do some little stickers with my name and what I called it. I called it cotton candy clouds. I don't know why. It reminded me of cotton candy. So I have just been peeling and sticking them on top of the washi. So it's like this. So I got them like this, but I wanted to be a little extra. So I did this. And then I also came out with hedgehog hats. This was recommended by my friend um yeah she told me to just do the hedgehogs with like different animals but i decided to go a little more so i did like top hats party hat animals fruit a whole bunch of them i wanted to do those overlay washies but it actually was really expensive so i just opted for the regular 15 millimeter washi oh so both washies are 15 millimeters by 10 meters long so it's a lot you could tell right right here how much it is but those are two that i have i've actually started planning again so i got myself this beautiful paper papier papier uh, planner uh it's a weekly planner so it's horizontal weekly and then i'm able to do like some to do's and stuff like that so I'll be using this for my wedding, for art stuff, and just personal planning stuff. But this is how the washi looks. So this is the cotton candy clouds. Just a whole bunch of uh, pink and yellow clouds. And then I did a moon, but on the actual drawing, the moon is a little darker than the background. So this is where I say like it printed a little darker, but I guess it works out because technically you're not supposed to even see the dark side of the moon. And then 
for the hedgehogs. These are all the hedgehogs. I did it on the rainbow background because I was honestly very indecisive of what color I wanted in the background. Now that I'm looking at it, the green and the blue look really pretty with it, but it's fine. It's too late. It's all rainbow. It's all cute. So I just did every other hedgehog. So we have like a cat, I believe that's a strawberry top hat, and then party hat, bear peach, frog, witch apple, and then it just repeats all the way. So those aren't my two washies. And then so far that is pretty much what I have. I have an event on February 4th to 5th. This is gonna be um, enemy or anime gaming and gaming expo in Fresno um, I do want to release a few more like anime and gaming stuff so that's why I came out with the Yu-Gi-Oh peekers they're gonna get to me on time so I'm excited for that I was I really loved Yu-Gi-Oh when I was younger so I needed to do most of the protagonists I didn't end up doing the last one for Arc B because that by that point I wasn't following it anymore and I didn't actually know if people liked it or not because I looked up um, just information about it and not that many people seem to like it so I didn't want to I want to do that these are um, samples that I did for myself just to see the sizes of what they're gonna be so I, I put it through or I did drawing and then I put it through silhouette studio I don't have Photoshop so silhouette studio is how I measure things don't mind the color because Silhouette Studio tends to wash out or desaturate the colors for some reason. I'm not sure why, so this is pretty much what they are. I have Yuki here and Yami here and they were... I ended up messing up because for Yugi I did Yami's eyes. And I was like, this doesn't look right. So I fixed it. So these are the two. I did a poll on my Instagram and everyone chose these two. <laughs> but it's fine. The other protagonists are good too. The next one I have here is Jaden. And then I have Yusei. So I pretty much did all of them just holding a card. I, I looked up on Google to see like what was their most like popular like card stands. So that's what I did for these two. And then I did Yuma last. Not that many people were actually none voted for him, but it's fine. Um, I I watched the beginning of his anime, but I didn't continue because again, I was kind of growing out and was really busy with high school. <laughs> the last one that I saw in full was 5Ds and then only part of this one. So those are gonna be coming in. I do need to prep and do inventory count for everything else as in my stickers, my charms, pins, and I believe that is it at the moment. So yeah, that's pretty much what I have for now. Hello, it has been about I think a week since the last time I filmed. I actually ended up finishing all my stuff personally and now I'm just going to be doing my last minute additions which is my board which is this one for my peeker stickers and i'll be adding these it is technically four days before the event this tuesday before the event so i'll be adding all of my peeker stickers on here i will also be printing a lot of stuff out for my sister since she wants me to sell some of her items so at the moment she has sent me a few so i'll be formatting those on my computer right now and then um let me see i think that's about it i do want to do a table setup so i can see how i'm going to be adding my things i think they said the table was going to be five by ten and that's a little small so i think i might bring my own table and or is it five by ten no I need to double check. I don't know if they put it wrong or not, but it said five by something. So I'm gonna see how that goes. Um, and I think that is pretty much it that I'll be doing today. It is four, 420. <laughs> it is about 420. So I will just be doing some things here and there. And then I do have to start cooking later. 
Um, I am actually home early. I got some cleaning done for my teeth, which is really nice. I also need to just finish uploading all the stuff on the post for the week. I did a reel today. I did it with the sun out. It was really nice and I am excited to show it. It will be the peakers pretty much for this one. It should be up by the time this video goes up. So we'll go from there. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. All right, this is voice recording Stephanie. And right here, the only thing I'm doing is setting up all the sticker sheets to be laminated. So I don't really do anything fancy. I have this laminate I got off of Amazon and then I just cut it to size. Um, it got to a point where I just do the same size all the time. So I put washi on my cutter. Uh, the laminate is also, I think, a, um, I think it's like 12 wide. So I do have to cut it down. Um, a, I, I've counted like four squares. So I just have to cut it down. For the laminate, I do cover the cut lines because I noticed that it doesn't really bother it. The only time where I'm having issues is for the hollow laminate. And that is about it. For this one, um, I do notice that it bubbles a lot. I still have not figured out how to do it in one swipe. <laughs> so I have my cardigan on and you could just see me kind of pressing down on it super quickly. And that just lets me not hurt myself with the laminate and just lay it down as smoothly as possible. I feel like I've gotten a little faster, but of course this is sped out pretty quickly. So for now, that is just the way I'll be working on it. Uh, the sticker sheets you see here are my own and then my sister's. Um, she's mostly been doing shaker charms and prints, but I convinced her to release some stickers. So it's mostly my hero stickers and some Chainsaw Man stickers. So if you want to go check her out, go follow at KAlec. I'll put her link down below. And yeah. And then right here, what I'm doing is setting up all of my Yu-Gi-Oh! Peeker stickers. I got these in and I love them so much. Uh, Kawaii Ghost does such an amazing job with them. I really um, love how they come out. I decided to get them in kiss cut format because I felt like it would look a little nicer than the edge. That's what I don't like about the um, bleach ones. So I need, do need to change the file for it, but it's fine. Okay, so I actually got a good amount done. So these are printed and I have laid them all down. I already messed up. Like, look back over. You can't really tell on camera, but if I go nice and close, gonna be display. This right here, this possible, he's gonna be display. So. <sighs> Disappointed. And then I finally put all my Yu-Gi-Oh ones on here. Um, so they are a little different from the um, bleach ones. So the bleach ones, I did a kiss cut, or no, I did a die cut outline on them because they have these like little squigglies on them. And I kind of want to remove that because I honestly was not a fan of the outline, but whatever. These are my first stickers that I did, and they still came out really nice. And then these Yu-Gi-Oh ones are the ones I'm releasing for Anime Fuse. But, doo -doo -doo. I am missing one of them. I don't know if I should draw him or not, but that is something for me. But here they are. They are laid flat down. These are mostly 5x4. I think that he's a 5x4. He's a 4x3. 5x4. Um, and then I think he's 5x5 five five only because of his hair. So let's see how well these Yu-Gi-Oh! Peekers do. That's, I honestly really like them. So I hope they do well. For now, I am going to go switch over to my um, office. It is a lot darker in my office, but I'm going to put some lights up and hopefully that helps some of the recording. So let's get over. Okay, so it is like 11 something at night, 11.43. And I decided to go eat, take a shower. But pretty much I finished all of these. Let me actually turn on the light real quick. I don't have that good of a light here in the office so I have to use like little lamps and stuff 
but I pretty much finished all of her stickers. Oh, what's really nice is I was able to kind of salvage this one, but this is going to be the display one. Usually after um, printing, or sorry, after cutting, bubbles start releasing, but this is going to be a display one. Anyway, we got Bakugo right here. We got Power. She looks so pretty. We got Aki. And all of these are three inch stickers uh, on weather weatherproof mat with a overlay vinyl. This is to just protect the image a little more and all this. Deku, Toga, and then last but not least, Dobby. Like, looks so nice but anyway the reason i have the overlay is because i used to just have them with the matte paper because i really like how the matte looks but i noticed over time if you had it on a water bottle the color will start like rubbing off and fading so after adding this vinyl on top it actually started making the stickers last longer so the matte paper gives a nice um clean printing while the vinyl gives it protection so this is pretty much it uh tomorrow wednesday i will be working on prints for myself and prints that she sent me so yeah here is how they look i'll see you tomorrow so I decided to do some changes to my display. I do know that I will be getting a bigger table because the last time I did their Hanford one, it was a pretty big table. So I did want to try to space it out. I do have a six foot table now, so it let me practice a little bit. I'll be having the totes on the side. I'll have my charms here. And I usually put the Sonic charms inside that green basket that you just saw, just so people could pick up and look at to see how the packaging will be. For Kelsey's stickers, I still had some of this black board, so I put her stickers on there and then my decals on the other one. Um, I did remove the stickers that I will no longer be selling, so it'll be like that. My sticker sheets will be here in the middle, um, along with my postcards, so I, I like how that looks for now. Uh, I might change it later, but I'm not 100% sure. I also have washi tape now, so I'll be putting the washi tape in that clear bin or frosted bin. I also got this new sticker holder, which I've been liking. Um, I'll just be putting like new stickers on there. Then I decided to do a tip jar as well. So I didn't know what to do, so I just did tips for treats <laughs> if anyone wants to tip. Uh, and then all of my charms, or at least the shaker ones, I've moved them over to give space for my Sonic ones. Some of these stuff did go up in price just because everything has gone up, so I had to do that as well. I did want to change my stickers to $4, but I decided against it in the end and just kept it for $3. Uh, but overall, that's pretty much all the new stuff. the event I completely forgot to record yesterday. I ended up running a little behind. Brandon and I got stuck in traffic because uh, the highway decided to merge into like one lane so we ran a little behind. I couldn't record anything and then I really don't like recording um, like time skips of like people going through because I don't know if people want to be in videos or not so I prefer not to do that. So I'm just going to show you how my table looks. This is day two. Um, I sold out of a few things, but luckily yesterday I was able to drive back home and pick up some more stock. It was mostly my charm, so I am happy for that. So let me flip the camera. So here is, well, let me actually spread out. So here is my setup overall. I ended up, we ended up with like a much larger table than expected. So I was actually able to spread out my display a little more. So here I have all of Kelsey's um, small prints, her stickers my vinyls, and then my stickers. And then I have my charms here. I had the stickers on this side yesterday, but decided to move it over here, just so it could be like stickers on stickers on stickers. 
this is just so people could see and grab stuff. Of course, the Sonic Charms. Um, the reason I moved it is because yesterday these were covering it, so I wasn't able to keep an eye on these. My tea caps, of course. My washi. Um, I ended up doing this thing right here, so once I get more washi, I'll make it bigger. My stickers, of course, notepads, and this what? Today I forgot my prints, so hopefully no one gets prints at the moment. And we go from there, and we got my totes, more charms, stickers. So yeah, I pretty much have everything set up. I think if I end up coming up with more stickers, I'll end up doing one of these backdrop displays that my neighbor has in the back. But for now, this is how I have things working, so. Let's see how today goes. Honestly, yesterday was not bad. I'm actually really happy with the turnout. It was a little slow for the first two hours, but it is completely okay. It did pick up, so I'm happy about that. Okay, so I sat down. The event should be starting in a few minutes. So I'm just gonna see how it goes. Um, but I am actually really happy with how everything is going. I ended up making my table back yesterday, so everything should be perfect and we will go from there. Hello, so it is close to end of day and it's honestly really slow. There's really not that many people here and some even started packing. Turns out we're not supposed to, so I have to wait it out a little bit. Today wasn't bad, but it was a lot slower than yesterday, so the big crowd was from yesterday. And I still made sales, which is really nice. I really appreciate it. And, and <laughs> it was just really slow. Hello, new day, new event. I haven't really been recording for this one because it's literally the weekend after Anime Gaming Expo. So I just did some reprinting of some stickers that sold out and did some uh, just, it was pretty much just reprinting of some stickers. I didn't really want to reprint any prints. Um, I only have like a few of each left, so whatever sells out, sells out. And then I'll just reprint it for my next bit in March was it anime con. So this is pretty much my setup. I am currently in Turlock. And let me flip the camera. Yeah, it is so big. Brandon forgot to bring the long <laughs> um, tablecloth. So I ended up doing overtime for work uh, today. So I packed everything. I told him this is everything you need to bring and he kind of forgot. It's fine. I'm not a fan of it, but it is what it is. So um, I have my Sonic Charms here, with all my stickers like last time. The table is pretty big again, so um, I was able to pretty much fill up my space. I do in the future want to add a third one like I did in Sack Anime of this right here and then so everything can be a little more condensed and it will hang up. I feel like it's going to happen because of all the prints and stickers I'm doing. So uh, for now, I really like how it looks. I'm kind of getting everything together. I do want to update this part right here. I've noticed people have like little clips that kind of clip on and kind of have like the sign standing. So that might help me in the future. But for now, I'm really happy with how it looks. Everything's so colorful and cohesive, kind of. <laughs> I just, I don't wear color, but I love using color for stuff. So I am excited for today. Okay, so it is the end of the day. Um, I did really well. I'm really happy. I really do appreciate everything. My tea cats were probably the best sellers for this event, along with my Plague Doctor stickers. I am so happy about that. I actually have to restock on some of my um, pins. Um, I am pretty much out of Rose Tea Cat. Earl Grey, I think I'm down to like one more. And then Chamomile did really good. So Chamomile's a hit and miss for some people. So Chamomile did really good this time. So I'm happy about that. Uh, people are cleaning up. So I am just happy about it. So I will post my thoughts and opinions and for both the events and then go from there. Hello, it's been about a week since the last time 
um, I was looking at all this convention stuff, so it gave me time to think, organize, count inventory, count money, and just see how both of the events went for me. And I will have to say, both of them did pretty well for the month of February. Um, this is the only month where I have two events back to back. The next few months, sorry, I have my dog with me. The next few months, I will only be having one event up until May, June, and July, but I will not be having any. Anyway, <laughs> um, starting with Anime Gaming Exo, this was a convention in Fresno. Um, this is Anime Fuse's second event. Their first event was Anime Fuse in the summer June I believe and it's a new event so it was not that great but they are learning. This convention did improve greatly from the last time. The only thing I will say that was weird is they ran out of artist badges. That has never happened to me before so they gave me a wristband that said artist and I was like okay. <laughs> it, it was just a little weird to me but whatever they let me in. I checked in, it's all good. I set up my table. Their tables were pretty long. It was, was it? It was like a little more than eight feet. It's like, they were like really, really big. I think they were like, they said five by 10. So I believe it was a 10 foot table. And luckily I had my big tablecloth, so it covered it greatly. Um, what else? Instead of doing the two panels like I did on my six foot table, I ended up doing three panels. So it was like my big grid here and then uh, one, two, three, and then just had like two, three here up front, which was really nice. I'll put a picture like right here where my little Sumi is. Um, I really liked how the table turned out. Um, I actually got to spread out a few of my items. Again, I feel like I don't have that much inventory just yet. so during this year before I stop conventions for a little bit I am able to expand a little more uh, the new items I bought for this event was some peeker stickers all the yu-yo peeker stickers um yu-yo peekers I did like the plague nurse two washies and that's pretty much it I was really happy with what I bought and I got a few people to buy some of the new items which was really nice um, so going on to how busy the days were. So Saturday and Sunday, both days was really slow at the beginning, like an hour or two into the event. It was really slow. Um, I didn't make a sale until probably an hour and a half in. And then, um, I made my money back before 1 PM on the first day, which was really good. Made my table back. That's really what I was hoping for. And then the rest was pretty much profit before gas. And we didn't get a hotel for this event. We're only an hour away. So I was like, mm, let's save on some money because we need to save money for the wedding. So that's pretty much how I was. I will say Saturday was the busiest day and all the sales were pretty much from Saturday. And then half of the sale, or on Sunday, I got half of the sales that I did on Saturday. So for their second event, it was really good. They were promoting it a lot more than their first one. They did a few um, changes, like they changed the venue. So their first one was in a venue kind of to the side of the big Fresno um, main building. And this time it was in the Fresno main building, which I believe really helped a lot. Mm, I think that's pretty much it for this event. Um, they're having another one, I believe, in the fall, and then they're setting up for next year, which is really good that they're going to be considered a winter Fresno event, because Anime Con is usually during the spring, and that's where I, that was where I started tabling, so I'll be going to that one. Um, yeah, so I would say this event I will try to go for again if I don't have anything else planned for February. I really did um, appreciate everyone that stopped by my table and I can't wait to see how Anime Fuse keeps improving their events. Okay, now for Turlock Ohanacon. So I've done Ohanacon in Hanford and that was that was really nice. I really did like it. So I decided to try for their main show in Turlock. 
Um, it's hard to get into. I had to make sure that once they announced that they had a Turlock event to sign up for it immediately. So I think I was like a week behind and they still had opening. So I was able to get a table. It wasn't that expensive. It was a one day event and Turlock is 30 minutes away from me. So again, no hotel, no need to drive super far. We get there probably an hour and a half early, which is the earliest we've ever <laughs> got into a con. Um, so what's nice about um, Ohana Con is that they have you on a list. They put your name down on the table, but then they kind of do like a little roulette and move your name around depending on where you want to um, sit, which was nice. Um, for some reason, I thought I put all my information under my art name, but I actually put it under my real name. So the, the con guy was just like, hey, I actually can't find you. So my fiance was like, it's probably under her name, my whole name. And he was like, oh yes, I found you. <laughs> and um, the only thing I was kind of iffy about was, this is more on myself. I did a... Um, what is it called? An overtime shift that day. So I woke up at six something, got to work at seven, and um, finished work at nine a.m. So I did two hours, and then um, Brandon packed everything for me. I had everything set up for him, but he forgot my big tablecloth. And again, it's one of those like really really big tables, like the one in Fresno. So I only had my six foot tablecloth, and like there's like slivers of edges like this on each side. And I was not happy about that. It's just like an aesthetic thing. It was my first link, but I kind of got a little upset. But there was no point. Like, I think it was just because I was tired, but we made it work. We put up my grids. Again, we did the big grid and then the 333. Then um, for this event, it was actually very busy very quickly. Um, some people have told me that it wasn't as busy as their other Turlock events, but I was like, that's fine. I still did pretty well. <laughs> um, I'm really grateful for everyone that stopped by and purchased some stuff. I did have some stickers that my sister did, so people were grabbing those. This is more like a family friendly, uh, very, very, very family friendly event because it was like a lot of little kids. And since my sister had like a lot of like My Hero Academia stickers, everyone was going for those. And I was like, yes. <laughs> and then for me, what surprised me was my my, acryl my acrylic tea cats and my shakers selling really well. I haven't sold shakers in like a bit. So I was thinking of probably just like discontinuing them. But after seeing how people were kind of grabbing them, I'm like, oh, it just depends on the event and people will buy them. So I am deciding to order a few more shakers, maybe a new one even, just to give more variety. And then, um, sorry, I have like my dog here, so I'm just like petting him. Um, my tea cats, uh, I, my tea cats sold pretty decently at almost all the events, but this one, I am pretty much sold out of all of them. So I have, so I placed an order for two of the ones that have completely sold out. And then probably after anime, I'll be ordering some more of the other ones and I'll be releasing new th three new tea cats. Um, but I really enjoyed this event. I got to meet um, a few artists that I follow and it was fun. I really did enjoy it. Brandon and I decided to get pho afterwards and if I were to do another Ohana Con, I wouldn't mind doing Turlock and then I'll try for Hanford again want to try another one of their locations but i'll see so overall i feel like my events in february did very well um i was looking at um all the counting and i have a lot of restocking to do i have to i actually do want to do this where i count all the money and counting how much i ended up spending um, I haven't really been doing that to see if I've been gaining or losing money, but now that I have officially done this for a year, I want to start looking at it more. So I really appreciate everyone that stopped by my booth. 
I hope to see people again during the next events that I am going to. And so far, I feel like I started off really great for an artist table, pretty much. I will see you guys at AnimeCon Fresno, March 18th and 19th. Stop by, say hi. Just say, hey, I saw you on YouTube. Hey, I saw you on Instagram. And I will remember it because I do notice the people that have liked all my stuff. So just stop by and say hi. I'm very quiet, but <laughs> it's all good. So thank you for following me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.